welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond This Games, and in this Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial, I want to show you how to import one of your older projects from Game Maker Studio 1.4. Now, if you're using Game Maker Studio 8 or before, this option is not available for you. But if you have Game Maker 1 projects that you want to import and start using in Game Maker Studio 2, they have a feature for that, and it actually works very well. So once you load up Game Maker Studio 2, you have this button right over here that says import. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on that. You'll find your project. You'll open it up and you'll need the .gmx file. And you'll open that up and then it's going to come up with a window of where you want to save this new Game Maker Studio 2 project and what you want to name it. We will go ahead and name it the same and save it in the default location. And then it's going to import that project and you can see up here that it's running through a lot of different uh, parts of the project and it's saving that. And then it prints out this right here. It is a compatibility report. So I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. And you can see that it has done a lot of different things. What importing does is makes it compatible with Game Maker Studio 2 by changing the things that, does, that won't work in Game Maker Studio 1 anymore and a lot of times it will do small changes like you can see here it converted some strings up here it changed the built-in font but there are also times when it is going to actually create a script for you because an older function no longer works or you're you have something that you're trying to do that game maker studio 2 doesn't know how to handle so it actually takes your code makes a custom script and then puts that in place of where it was called and so when you import a game for the most part it's actually completely ready to go you can see down here that it adds compatibility scripts and with that we can actually take a look over here and see that it has all of these scripts that it's done here are the compatibility ones but really if I just press F5 and I run this, it is going to work exactly the same as it did in Game Maker Studio 1.4. The import option is very powerful and very useful. So if I come in here, the game will begin running. And this is just a simple game that I'm working on for uh, children to learn the keyboard. So it works, it's great, and there's very little that you have to do. Uh, what's really cool is if you are looking for something in a Game Maker Studio One project and you just don't know where it is, it might just save you time to import it into here, and then you can search the entire project for that keyword, that variable, that section of code. That's something you can't do in Game Maker Studio One, and when your project gets large, sometimes it can take a long time to find that specific section of code. But that's all I've got for you guys. It's a very simple, easy thing that they've implemented. If you need any help with that, then you can jump onto their forum. If there's any bugs or something doesn't work, they're still working those out. And if you had a lot of custom scripts or things in your first in Game Maker Studio 1, then there could be issues, but probably you'll just have a lot of compatibility scripts that they have set up and that they have created to work. If you need to go in and change those, it's a little more work but it certainly can get done. And it's a great way to upgrade your project if you want to jump into Game Maker Studio 2 and enjoy the features that it has. So thank you for joining me, guys. That's all I've got for you. As always, have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. Hey there. Uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. Up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you.